All right, uh, we give up already. You're, you're too good. Please, let us go. I was about to quit anyways. You guys are pathetic. Huh? It's no fun beating up wimps like you. This was one hell of a pathetic fight. Aren't there any tough guys around here anywhere? One, two, three, circle, she talk, get back, go, cock, go, choo, Hey, you're good at that. Now you're really good at that. Hey, I guess I haven't lost my touch, have I? I guess every girl has one good trait, no matter how ugly they are. Stop! What'd you do that for? I was paying you a compliment in case you didn't notice. Yahiko, I hate to tell you, but you won't ever be popular with girls unless you fix that personality of yours. Oh, yeah? Well, how are you ever going to find a guy to marry you with a face like that? What did you say? <laughs> Come back here! <laughs> well, I guess I will go prepare some lunch. Uh, by the way, Kenshin, what's on the menu today? Let's see. Cooked burdock root and... Oh, that's right. The eggplants that I picked from the garden yesterday should be just about ready to eat, I bet. Man, that's so boring. Can't we afford to go out to eat something good once in a while? What are you talking about? You're living here for free, aren't you? You should think before you speak. Where's the money going to come from for things like that? Right, even if you turn this place upside down and shake it, all you'll get out of this broken down school is a pile of dust. <gasps> get out of the ah. way! Now, where was that thing? I know it was around here somewhere. Oh, great. What the heck is she doing now? Hello. <laughs> what happened? You bump your head on something in there? I just remembered. Okay, look it. My grandfather did this. This whatchamacallit? It's a doodle. It's an ink painting. Oh, that really looks like something, doesn't it? It's quite delicately executed. My grandfather was a pretty well-known ink artist in Tokyo, as well as a first-class swordsman. I can sell this for a lot of money. Thank you, my dear beloved grandfather. So, let's go eat some beef stew. What do you say? Oh. Cool. Wow, I guess you're not so bad after all, Kaoru. You're the greatest. <laughs> well, you're easy to please, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, you yeah, yeah, to me. Welcome back! Oh. Yahiko, mm. you can slow down a little Ow. bit. This isn't a race, you know. I'm not a little kid. No. There now, you see what I mean? I hate to say I told you so, but I did tell you. Looks like poor Yahiko is no match for little Kaoru. You're wrong! We'll never see free democracy in Japan playing it safe like that. You gotta take risks. That may be, but it would put too much pressure on Dr. Itagaki. You're right. Okubo, the lord of domestic affairs, is the kind of guy who'll go up even against the great Sargo. Yeah, but the doctor should be ready to give his life for democracy. Don't be a fool. What's gonna come out of those romantic ideas? That's right. If Dr. Itagaki dies, the chance for freedom dies as well. It seems that they are activists fighting in a movement for democracy. Fighting for democracy? At this time, there's an elite group that controls all aspects of our government. But there's a growing movement for change, and many people are becoming politically active, hoping to improve the current system. Well, I guess that sounds like a good idea. But looking at those guys, I'm not so sure. Hmm. Well, I don't know, but they look like a bunch of drunks to me. <laughs> I don't know either, but it appears to be just as you say. Hmm? Goodness, are you all right? Kenshin, you okay? What did you say? I dare you to say that again. I'm happy to say it again. In fact, I'll say it as many times as I feel like saying it. He can say whatever he wants to say. I'm sorry to interrupt your argument, but don't you owe him an apology?
Before you talk about cleaning up the government, maybe you should look at yourself. Watch your mouth. The important things we're talking about are far beyond the scope of some foul-mouthed little punk kid to even begin to comprehend. Oh, yeah, right. I doubt you even understand what you're talking about, you big drunk. Who are you calling a drunk? We're on a crusade for democracy. Oh, please. Even a drunk crusader is still a drunk. What's that? Uh, excuse me. We prefer not to have any trouble. What? Shut up! Stay out of this, woman! <gasps> Somehow, I always thought that democracy existed for the weak. Or is it that the democracy you fools preach is the freedom to get drunk and give innocent folks a hard time with your big mouths? What was that, you son Are of a... Are you all right? Oh, uh, yes. Hey, you trying to pick a fight with us, bozo? Huh. I guess I wouldn't mind picking a fight for a change. What's that? Usually I don't have any choice about who I fight with. But I can't stand watching other people abuse those weaker than they are. Something about that sort of bugs me, especially when it comes to hypocrites talking about the virtues of freedom and justice for all. That really pisses me off. I dare you to say that again. That's enough. Let's step outside. starting to get a little strange, isn't it? I'm wondering if it would be wise to stop them. I don't see why you have to, since they're the ones who want to do this anyway. I won't go easy on you, even if you cry! First of all, let's see how strong you guys are. Right here. Take your best shot. I'll show you a thing or two! Take this! Unfair! To have a dagger hidden away like that! Quit yapping! By its very nature, a dagger is meant to be hidden. There is some truth in what this man says. However, this one didn't seem to work. Is that all you could do, even with a dagger? Oh, my arm! Oh. Man, this is nonsense. If I don't hold back, it would be like abusing babies. Here, I'll fight you with just one finger. Well, that's over. Sure was a boring fight. One flick to the forehead? I've been watching from the sidelines for some amusement. But if you're going to pull something like that out here, I won't show you any mercy. Democracy is fine in itself, that it is. But for guys like you, improving yourself should take first priority over trying to improve the government. Now pay your bill.